You may have noticed some recent activity here at the train depot. To tell us more is Barb Justice of the Issaquah Valley Trolley, which is a project of Issaquah History Museums. So first off, where did this trolley come from? Well, thank you. Uh, this trolley came originally from Lisbon, Portugal, and it went to Aspen, Colorado in about 1975, and it remained there until they decided they couldn't get their project going and they allowed us to come and get it. So we've had it since about 2003. Oh wow, so what's happened between 2003 and today? Well in the meantime, we needed money, so we got some just volunteer donations, some nice big ones, uh, some from corporations and some from individuals, and then we started writing grants. And so it happened that the uh, Federal Transit uh, Enhancement Grants were available to projects like this, and so we applied for those, and then we, we got some more of those kind of grants, and then we got local hotel motel tax and, and uh, things that went through the PSRC. So I know that the trolley just got back to town. Where was it for the past few months? Well, in March, it left for the uh, re reconstruction people in Ida Grove, Iowa. It's called the Gomeco Trolley Company, and it's part, a division of their paving machine building company. They're a huge company in a tiny town of 2,600 people. Wow. Yes. And so what kind of work did they do to kind of rehab the trolley? Oh my. <laughs> the kind of work that they did was take it totally apart like a, like a Lego set and took all of the pieces off. They, they left some, some of the body together but they took all of the pieces off and replaced all of the rotted wooden frame that was under it. This trolley was built in 1925, so it had to have a brand new truck in a, under it with all new equipment, and then because we have federal money, we had to meet all the current standards, which means all of the ADA. We have a wheelchair ramp that is exactly like Amtrak uses, so, and so, it's ADA compatible, mm -hmm. and then they put in new, all new electrical and air components until everything has been changed. Some of it is rebuilt, and some is brand new. So what is the, what is the mission of having a trolley here in town, and kind of what do you hope to do and educate people about with the trolley? Well, the, we have a lot of different missions. One is that we wanted to demonstrate to the communities that small rail transportation works in small towns. Mm -hmm. So it, we start here at the depot, which is right behind City Hall here in exactly. Sunset. And then how far can you take it? Uh, right now we can only take it as far as the East Fork of the Issaquah Creek by Dairy Gold because um, we saved money back in case we had cost overruns and we needed to have a car running on the tracks didn't say how far in order to uh, fulfill our grant obligation. And so we're, as soon as all the bills come in, we hope we have enough money that we can strengthen the bridge. It's in really good shape, except that there are some rotted beams that really aren't so much structural, but they could be. And so it needs to be done so that it passes inspection so we can run it for the next 20, 30, 50 years. So this is kind of phase one between the depot and Dairy yes, Gold. Yes, yes. And then phase two, would that go all the way to Gilman Village? Yes, yes. Oh, great. And then it, we're hoping at that time that we can put, have a bus stop, a, a trolley stop that is ADA compatible that uh, will be in coordination with the chamber because mm -hmm. the chamber office is right there and then people could get off and go to Gilman Village oh, wonderful. and shop and then come back and get on the trolley because the trolley will run every half hour, starting at 11 in the morning, and run till 3. That's our plan now. We may run longer. We may mm -hmm. run more than just Saturdays and Sundays and holidays. So you're hoping to get some volunteers together who can actually drive it, and then what else do you need help with? Well, we need help with being conductor, and that is the person that is on the trolley to be able to tell you that the back is free and all of the people are on, the wheelchair ramp is out so that we can leave. We also need people to take the donations and give out the tickets. So along with the adults, I'm sure that you get quite a reaction from kids who come and want to ride the trolley. Oh, have you already seen some kids? That we do. That? These kids come by and 
they look and they ask their moms and mom says no it's not running yet and so if they come by the trolley barn and I am there then I will I will open the door and let mom and the little guy in because I, I'm, we love children so much that we, we just can't make them wait until the 14th of October, which will be our public opening. And it is the day after the 40th anniversary of the birth of the Issaquah Historical Society, which name now is the His Issaquah History Museums because oh, wow. that better describes our, our mission. So you said that the big unveiling for our community will be October 14th. 14th. And that's a Sunday. And then after that, you'll be running on weekends, right? We'll be running on Saturday and Sundays okay. from 11 till 3 okay. every half hour. Okay. So we'll run 11, 11, 30, 12. And our last run will be at 3, and then we put it away. And then this will be over the fall, correct? And it'll be as till the weather gets too miserable to want to ride it. It does not have heating. By that time, it isn't fun, and people aren't, aren't out as much. Then we will have a, some Santa runs, maybe a couple for photo ops. Well, thank you, Barb, for joining us today to give us some history about Issaquah Trolley and explain why it's running again here in town. Well, thank you. I've been delighted to do it. Another exciting project that's happening here in town is on Issaquah Creek, which you'll see in this next piece. <laughs> 